Hello everyone on YouTube. Today I'll be reviewing the G3 Crew Grip Golf Gloves from the PGA Tour Superstore. I've bought a pair of these and uh, they were on sale so they were a good deal. So here I am opening these up for the first time. And I'm going to give my initial impressions of these particular gloves. They feel pretty nice just straight out of the box, so, yeah. Today I'm going to try... Today I'm going to try these on for the first time, and let's see how it works. So, let me get in view so you can actually see me put them on for the first time. And these are available for both the left and the right hand. So, let's see, how do they feel going on my hands? Alright, you can tell right now that the leather is thicker on these. Alright, now I'm going to put on my left hand's glove. Trying to stay in frame here. Alright, so, let me get them on. Alright. Okay, they're on, so how do these feel? The answer is they uh, actually feel pretty good. Uh, let's see here. Let me see my... There it is. So I can open and close my hands, and I don't see any excess fabric bunching, which is good. The grip feels eh, pretty good, pretty tacky. Um, maybe not quite as good as the Callaway X-Tex or the uh, Nike Durafield gloves. Well, maybe about the same as the Durafield gloves. They have these nice ventilation holes, I like that. Very traditional, and of course they have a little bit of mesh here to allow for opening and closing, so that the leather doesn't take the brunt of it. So these aren't completely leather, but, you know, this is okay. And then of course, uh, leather here, pretty good. The strap is pretty good, they fit about as they should, although I had to strap this one down a little tighter in order to get this one to fit on my hands, so Maybe they're not quite as consistent as, say, like a Callaway Dawn Patrol, or a Titleist Permasoft, or a Titleist Players. Uh, but I think these are good for maybe longevity purposes. They are thicker, so they'll probably last a little bit longer than a Titleist Permasoft or Titleist Players. And, of course, they fit really tight. Once again, about like a second skin. But they're not too tight to the where they're uncomfortable. And, uh, yeah, I do like how these feel. So, as far as initial impressions goes, uh, I like them. They are pretty comfortable. And as you can see, these are brand new. They've not been worn yet. And they've not been handled with a club yet. Or, I've not handled a club with them on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, let's, uh, let's actually get a club in our hands and see how these feel. So, I'm just going to grab my driver real quick. All right. I should notice that these actually feel really comfortable. It's almost like wearing a set of dress gloves, almost. That's what they feel like. And let's see here. Yeah, the grip is solid. Yeah, I like that. And let me move my club back and forth a bit, see if I can get it to wiggle around in my hand any. And yeah, basically none. Now. Will that be the case when these stretch out a little bit from use? I don't know. But, uh, let's try the iron. See how this works. Once again, these are just, uh, the standard grips that came on the clubs. This is a Ping G5 iron. Alright. So, yeah. So as far as grip goes, initial impressions, I give this two thumbs up. Well, yeah. And now let's see the putter, because sometimes I don't even bother taking my gloves off to putt. Let's see here. By the way, I love this Odyssey grip here. This is a new Odyssey grip. Um, I actually had a Super Stroke grip on here before, and then I put a stock factory grip back on it, because that Super Stroke grip was a piece of crap. I am uh, not going to name names as to which store it was, but let's just say they're dicks, and we'll let you figure out which store it was. <laughs> okay, so... Let's get our grip on the club, and 
how I like to grip the putter is actually like this. I know people say you shouldn't do that, but it works well for me, and I can hit the ball on the green really well like this. And yeah, actually, I can do pretty sensitive movements with this. I like it. Yeah, even in a putter, these gloves are comfortable, and I can tell I could make pretty precise shots, so I like it. So once again, I give these two thumbs up. So, I thank you all for watching, and until next time, take care. Leather, 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 and a little bit of synthetic. So, pretty good. For some reason, the color is different here on this glove than it is on this glove. I don't know exactly why. Uh, it could be the leather was treated slightly differently at the factory, or maybe this left glove was done on a different assembly than the right glove was. Mm, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. So, uh, yeah, pretty high quality, at least in my first impressions. They feel really nice straight out of the box.